<laughs> oh God. Blanca. Mm -hmm. Just Blanca. Just Blanca. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll leave the last name Blanca. A little Blanca humor. So, uh, Blanca, the good news is I, I did, uh, with some doing, get you approved to fight in the second uh, Street Fighter tournament. Yeah, congratulations. Great. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to add a couple new clauses uh, regarding travel oh, right. on the grounds that you are a, uh, a terrifying monster. So, uh, I, once we get the... What was that? Uh, you can't fly in airplanes because you are a terrifying monster. Oh, I'm not a monster. See, I, I am human. Mm -hmm. I was just raised in the jungle, and then when I was a child, I was exposed to some electric eels. Uh, so <laughs> werewolf was born human, too. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, vampires were born human. Uh, Frankenstein was a bunch of humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically what you're just humans. saying is only making me believe that you are indeed a monster. Uh, <laughs> I'm a monster. Mm -hmm. Uh, listen, you are a monster, and as such, all contestants with talent appendage, that means your terrifying claw hands, while in transit, must relegate to a freight status skin. cube, walled or linked enclosure. You're going to have to fly in a crate underneath the plane. <laughs> You're going to have to fly in a crate underneath the plane. The uh, Vega told me that all of his flights were business class. Yeah, it's not me, it's the TSA. I mean... They're very uncomfortable with uh, people not taking their shoes off. I mean, imagine if we sent you in with the shackles that don't come off. That's going to go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Search the shackles, sir. That doesn't make me any more comfortable putting you in a middle seat on a seven-hour flight to Russia to flight no. Zangief. I mean, between a nun and a baby, there's no way you're not going to eat that baby. <laughs> you're not going to eat that small baby. I'm not going to eat the small baby. Keep eye contact while you do it. I'm not going to eat the small baby. <laughs> that makes me think you're definitely going to eat the small baby. You have a piece of baby stuck in your throat? No, no, I am insulted. I am insulted by your inference. If you want to talk to our HR department, oh I can God. gather them into a small posse, burn some torches, and come to where you live. <laughs> this is bullshit. Monster. I walk upright. I speak English. Learn the language. Gets you close to the children so you can scoop them up and eat them. Okay, I don't eat children, and I'd appreciate you not inferring it. You're more of like a, who killed all our goats? And then we pan over, and you're just covered in blood. I don't eat meat. I'm mostly vegetarian. Mm, mostly. Monster. Uh, human. Monster. I am not a monster. You are a monster. I'm a human. You look like the bastard child of Carrot Top and the Hulk. I don't know. <laughs> You look like Bob Marley merged with a bar of Irish Spring soap. <laughs> What's your favorite energy drink? It's not Red Bull, is it? Does it look like you scratched the front? <laughs> you know what? Enough of this. Enough. I am a monster. human. I am not a monster. I am here to fight in a tournament. How do I make that happen? Easy. You just have to fill out Form 7B, sign here, here, and here, permission to treat you as cargo. <laughs> Fine. I will concede to your... Foolish demands. And over here, you'll see three choices for your in-flight meal. Dry food, wet food, or dry food mixed with wet food. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and check mixed. The boy likes the mix. Oh, oh. I don't have to listen to this anymore, sir. Good day. <laughs> to this anymore, sir. Good day. <laughs> uh, Blanca, you didn't fill in your address. Oh Should I put underneath my daughter's bed? Or are you still living in a black lagoon? <laughs> Monster! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the eyes. Does he? Does he? Look, I, we're having a little bit of a problem from a marketing <laughs> standpoint. Um, it says here in your bio, you are a yoga practitioner? I'm a master practitioner of the spiritual art of yoga. Okay, see, that's what we're having a problem with, just selling you to the people, is you're a master practitioner of the spiritual selling art you. of yoga, and yet you want to enter a street fighting tournament. Yes, I will meditate and then destroy my enemies. Okay, you can see how that's a little bit confusing on our end of things. We don't we 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 don't know how to sell you. 
they will love me for my yoga flame. Okay, see right there, that doesn't make any sense. You're doing an incredibly violent thing, but saying yoga before it doesn't make it part of your spiritual practice. That's I true. do not see the disconnect. Would it be okay if I bash you in the face with a two by four just as long as before I do it, I say Pilates? Listen, I use my yoga to fight for peace. Peace? Mm -hmm. You're a big peace guy? Big peace guy. Uh, are, are those peace skulls you're wearing? <laughs> Sorry, come again. Around your neck, are those, are those peace skulls? The, the jewelry, the human human skull jewelry you have? Oh, these guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are peace skulls. Those are human skulls, peace and they're skulls. very, very small. If those are baby skulls, I don't even want to know. I couldn't begin to describe that to legal. Okay, well, in yoga, there's a lot of, like, different kinds of things that are considered, like, okay to do. Some people would say that you can't do yoga on a full stomach, and then some people <laughs> say that it's okay to wear baby skulls around your neck. And you see, this is completely <laughs> unsellable. We can't do anything with this. What are you baby talking skulls. about? I'm totally marketable. People love yoga right now. It's so hot. There's yoga studios all over the place. I'm a fighter. People are fighting. Yoga fighter. I'm the guy right now. <laughs> you know what's confusing to me is you're wearing skulls and a bindi. A what? Do you know what a bindi is? <laughs> yeah, I totally know what a bindi is. You're a yogi from India. I'd mm -hmm. imagine you know what a bindi is. I do know what it is. Point to your bindi. Just give oh, it right a, now. Yeah, give it a quick point. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's your nipple. <laughs> that's, that's, your, that's your penis. <laughs> it's this. Ah. <laughs> the physical representation of your third eye. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Physical Quickly. representation of the uh, third eye. Do you even know what yoga is? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. yeah. Tell me. Tell me what yoga is. Well, oh my God, it's the one where you stretch a lot. Mm -hmm. and there's a mat. Yep, there's a mat. Do you go get froyo afterwards. <laughs> uh, you sound like a middle-aged mom who took one class at the Y. No, I've been training for years. 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 Uh huh. How uh, long? All told, off and on, two years. <laughs> Two hours. years, yoga master. It's hard to get up early in the morning, plus you know how it is with work. And then my yoga teacher got a job in Connecticut, so then I couldn't, um, okay. but I didn't like the new guy. We're gonna have to rethink <laughs> your entire image. Uh, may maybe the play is we just own it. Your doll seem, the weird kind of spiritual stretchy guy who punches kind and can probably weird. suck his own dick. <laughs> Take that to marketing, see what they say. If we pass, there's always killer instinct. All right. <laughs> yoga. Thanks. Uh -oh. See, that, that, See? that makes no sense. Yoga is one thing teleporting. <laughs> yoga lame. Yoga, yoga lame. <laughs> uh, Guile, uh, American war hero. Guile, America. I just you just exclaimed America. U S A, U S A, U S A. <laughs> It's in office, nobody wants to do the U.S. <laughs> chant. Um, just as a general note, could you tone this down? So, flat top, tank top, two tone American flag down. tattoos. We get it, you're American. Sir, I am just representing the country that I love. Yeah, so is Ken, but he's not dressed like a Japanese tourist going to Manhattan for the first time. <laughs> okay, Kyle, the reason I called you in is there's a discrepancy on your application. Uh -oh. It says that you fought in a war. Yeah, I fought in the war. A war. I'm just going to need to clarify that. I fought for America, and I defeated the enemy with my flash Which kick. See, Which that's war? where I'm losing you. Is I, I can't see someone with your specific set of skills fighting in a war where there are guns. You're just flipping up in the air like a skeet shoot. You'd be dead in two seconds. <laughs> there was no guns in this war. A, a gunless war? It was the no-gun war of 63. Where, where was the no-gun <laughs> war of 63? Uh, it was the Europe war. The Europe war? The one in Europe. <laughs> The Europe one, that war. Sorry, what branch of what? the military are you in again? Old Navy. <laughs> Old Navy. Old Navy. And what's, what's the name of your general? Mills. The, the <laughs> people who make cereal? Okay. That is so ridiculous, I'm actually going to give you another chance to lie. The general was? Mike. General Mike. General Mike Mills. All right. <laughs> I'm too fascinated to stop asking you these questions that you have to make answers up for. Oh, Where did you go to boot camp? Camp boot. You went to boot camp or camp boot? Mm. Old camp boot, home <laughs> of the boot camp. Yep. Yep. 
I'm just going to go ahead and save both of our times and just change your application to a not lie and say you've heard of a war. Not <laughs> I have heard of war. I don't believe you, but that's what we're going to put. I'll just change the form real quick if I could just... <laughs> You know, can you just lean forward just a little bit? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is that perfect. perfectly. Am I free to go? Yes, sir. You look like a Toby Keith song, <laughs> the G.I. Joe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, which one would you like better? The awesome Blanca or uh, uh, Guile? Uh, neither of these had outtakes, so that's why I put them together, because they're, they're still relatively short. Blanca, I think, might have been the best. I think that might have gotten the biggest laugh out of me. Even though the kid skulls around Dawson's neck. That was hilarious. Him not knowing what, what was going on here. Uh, and, and and putting yoga with everything. Even though it's like, uh, that mm, might not be how you should do this. Uh, but Blanca was hilarious. Like, especially when he's like, he's speaking eloquently. And then walks away <laughs> like a monster. It's like, you're a monster, bro. Like, you were a science experiment almost, pretty much, right? Like, it's, it's yeah. That, that whole situation is just weird. But he had to fly his cargo. This is the way it has to go. I mean, it was cool seeing Joel McHale as a uh, guile. That was cool. But he was just dumb. Like, he's just an idiot. <laughs> Thinks he's patriotic. I guess that's kind of the way they were going for it. But fun stuff. Let me know your favorite part from these in the comments below. Uh, which one did you like the best of these three? We'll get to Bison and Ken next. Uh, those will be the last two. I'll put them together uh, with the outtakes too. And um, we'll finish this up. So fun stuff. I'm enjoying them. Uh, and we'll kind of just continue things the way we do. So if you want to see more, check out the videos I got right here for you. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.